Hello, welcome back to my channel Sini's Primary Math. In this video, we are going to examine some common misconceptions in symmetry and their remediation. Those who are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get my future videos. Also, watch my previous videos on symmetry. The link is given in the description box below. Studies indicate that the difficulties that children have encountered with the concepts of symmetry are linked to several misconceptions. Look at the figures shown. Are these two figures symmetrical with respect to the axis? Children think if the figures are identical, then they are symmetrical. In fact, the points that form the figure are not the same distance from the axis of symmetry and hence they are not symmetrical. Look at the figure shown. Another common mistake is to think that if one figure is the reflection of another then they are symmetrical regardless of their position with respect to the axis of symmetry. If we fold the paper along the axis of symmetry, the figures do not match. Therefore, these two figures are not symmetrical with respect to the axis. To overcome such mistakes, children should be encouraged to practice mental folding the paper to visualize the figure symmetry with respect to the axis. Children know that a shape has line symmetry if an axis that is line can be drawn on the shape to divide the shape into two halves in such a way that when the shape is folded along that line the two halves match up. However, children may experience difficulty. Case 1. Children may not recognize lines of symmetry when they are not vertical or horizontal. For example, the figure shown has a line of symmetry but the fact that it is not vertically or horizontally oriented. Children may not recognize it. Case 2. Children may think that a shape can only have one line of symmetry or may only identify some of the lines that are present. For example, some children may be able to see just the vertical line of symmetry in the shape, whereas some others will see the lines shown along the blades. In fact, there are four lines of symmetry. Case 3. Children may think that all lines which divide a shape into two equal halves are lines of symmetry. For example, the line along the diagonals seems to divide the rectangle into two identical halves. However, if folded in half along this line, the two halves do not match exactly. This means that the diagonal line is not a line of symmetry. When a shape is rotated, the left, right and clockwise, counterclockwise orientations are maintained. That is, a rotated left hand remains a left hand. Like the hands of a rotated clock still moves in the clockwise direction. A common misconception is to confuse a 180 degree rotation with a reflection, but we can see that they are very different. In reflection symmetry, a flip occurs and vertices B and C reverse left right. Remediation Paper folding activity, hands on activity, collaborative project work. Practice worksheets for identifying lines of symmetry. Real life examples to relate ideas about symmetry. Animated videos on symmetry. Use appropriate computer interactive 
software. Use of dynamic geometry software will enable children making a connection between what they are thinking and a visual for what is really happening. Hope you got an overview of the common misconceptions in symmetry and the remedial measures. I know you are interested to learn more about symmetry to make your concepts clear. Sure, I will be back with another interesting video on symmetry. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share this video. See you in the next time. Till then.